We beat Emerald Kaizo! This guy might be the best Pokemon Nuzlocker of all time. And then there's me. Quick claw and then have the flint. What did I say, Brayden? What did I say? What the fuck? Sure, I've spent years improving as a Nuzlocker from throwing to Sabrina to conquering Emerald Rogue on my first try, which did not even impress him. So to showcase my growth, we set out to attempt a Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Soul Link. Essentially, this is a hardcore Nuzlocke, but with two players. You'd probably expect this to be Yon just carrying me, right? <laughs> Surprisingly, no. Well, um, yeah, I happened to throw away the first run, so let's just talk about the second one. Since these games don't have traditional routes, we used terror raids for encounters and only allowed one terror type across both teams. So after running around a bit in single-digit frame rates, we were already starting to form two pretty solid teams, especially this ground terror Eevee on my side. But more on that later, and if you're curious about my brand new stream layout, well, dress for the job you want, right? Even if it involves a misdemeanor for petty theft. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are really just boss rushes, and the first gym was a cakewalk for our precious little Fue Coco as he blazed through Katie's entire party. I mean, it makes sense, because this is literally the first gym? That should never be a challenge to anyone, yet here Yon is struggling so bad that he had to pull out the damage calculator and everything. Yet, despite running the math, he still had to sacrifice a Pokemon to beat, again, the first gym leader. Well... At least one of us are pulling our weight. Though when it came around to the grass gym, my plan has not changed. Fue Coco will burn this entire city to the ground. But unfortunately, Yon's using Sprigatito, so he's gonna run the couch for this one yet again. Luckily, his shelter has Ice Shard and plans to just sweep with that. So while he's busy planning out the optimal team, I was out here trusting some kind of blind faith. All right, and now we're just press the same button three times and see what happens. All right, pet a little doesn't matter anymore. That thing has been exterminated. Mall of dies. All right, let's see how the pseudo wudo goes. So yeah, things got a little scary against pseudo wudo as I had to press the button an entire fourth time, but the hard carry carries on. Now that the level cap went up, we got to start exploring some stronger raids for some even stronger encounters. First time chatter asks, who is the sexiest Pokemon in your opinion? That's such a good first time chat. So, uh. What's your answer? Damn. Uh... Lilligant. Well, there you have it, folks. The sexiest Pokemon, according to Yawn. Are, are you are you gonna answer as well, or are you gonna just... No, I don't find Pokemon attractive. I wouldn't answer that question. Oh, yeah. No, it makes sense. I... <clears throat> also don't think Pokemon are attractive. So, uh, anyways, this video is brought to you by Era, a completely new and unique hydration experience. Do you personally have trouble drinking boring normal water? Well, Era solves that problem by harnessing the power of scent-based taste. Era bottles use scented pods that, when activated by the bottle straw, transport water and air through the pod and into your mouth. And that's where the science behind Arup's scent-based taste kicks in. It's essentially smelling with your mouth. I know it sounds weird, but it isn't. Air Up can give flavored hydration without sugars or sweeteners while keeping all of the flavor. These pods come in a wide variety of flavors like peach, wild berry, and even to strawberry lemongrass in the US and strawberry balsamic in Europe. Even though I filled this bottle with just plain old water, I got to experience my favorite of all their tastes, which is cherry. And it helps me stay hydrated while I'm on my computer for, you know, uh, an unreasonable amount of hours at a time. And if you want to get really fancy with it, you can even use sparkling water. I have the steel bottle, which can keep water cold for up to 14 hours, and it's made out of high quality stainless steel. Right now, it only comes in black and silver steel, but if you want to personalize your air up, you can get the Triton bottle that is available in many more colors. Also, no need to tip the bottle. Just activate the pod by pulling it gently and drinking normally through the straw for the flavored water. To get your own air up, use the link in my description and use code ALPHA to get 10% off your entire order as well. But after all of that, it was time for Iono, whose belly bolt might have somehow ruined our first attempt. Back then, I didn't have a single ground type and just fold it to her electric assault, but... Once again, it was time to carry because of a perfectly molded ground type Vaporeon. Obviously, this water type Pokemon would suddenly be great against electricity, but my plan was even more brilliant than that. Normally, terrestrializing into a ground type would still leave me weak to moves like Water Gun, but this Vaporeon had water absorbed, thus making it a complete and impenetrable wall. So to see this plan through, I used Crocolore to take down her Watchful, 
bait in the belly bolt, switch Vaporeon into water gun, and set up multiple invincible calm mines, and I just swept from there. Yon didn't really have anything nearly as cool and awesome and badass and cool as I did for this battle, but he just decided to use top level instincts and abuse Steel Terra Cloister and Assault Vest Florigato, which sure, I guess it gets the job done. I mean, one of us definitely struggled more than the other, and it really makes you think who the probably best Nuzlocker in the world is. I mean, after all, only one of us has been crowned as the Nuzlocke King. <coughs> At least we both got our third gym badge and a few encounters to round out the teams. And in doing that, we accidentally caught a lot of Pokemon that were great for Kofu's water gym. But before we started the battle, I just wanted to take a look around and soak up the scenery. Oh my god, that... what the fuck is... What the fuck is happening? Oh, it's it's still going, huh? It's not done. Oh my! Oh my God! It's only getting worse. Holy shit. Why? <laughs> what is happening? Did my game? My game just crashed. So, anyways, I taught Raps to get Sunny Day and got fixed onto the party for the first time of the run. It might look a little silly for me to bring my fire starter to this fight, but these are the kinds of things you have to do in a Soul Link to drag your partner across the finish line because he definitely needs his Florigato. From Water Absorb Vaporeon to Terra Water Silicobra to just a Cacnea. I had a lot of options here, but instead, I opened with Scovillain. It may be neutral against water, but this is exactly what I needed to get set up in this fight. Kofu lived with Veluza, so good thing we walled the Psychic moves out with a Dark Terrasalization, which allowed us to set up a Sunny Day for free. In other words, it's time to abuse the Chlorophyll ability and just mash the Solar Beam button until the fight is over. These battles have been a breeze on my side so far, so how about Yawns? I did just get crit, unfortunately. Well, I guess I'd kill this and then U-turn the work trio. Am I gonna be faster than work trio? Ah, boring. Whatever, he beat Kofu, we got the fourth gym badge, and then it was time for the main event. That's right, it's time for Larry. Luckily, the level cap is now high enough to evolve nearly all of our Pokemon, and especially perfect timing for Skeletor to become part ghost, as my new plan for this gym was to really just click Torch Song and hope for the best. Ah, paralysis. Duh. Whoops, no problem, I'll just switch to Cacturn, get some chip damage with Spiky Shield, and <laughs> hey look, Hyper Drill goes through Protect. <laughs> oh, isn't that a funny surprise? You're not dead, I don't think, I unless he has one, terrible defense. And then you're right, and then my Terra type is dark, which doesn't matter. And then, and then I think he won't glare this turn. Is he glaring? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm still faster than him. All right, we got Solar Beam out. I just have to not get paralyzed here. All right, was paralyzed. Low damage roll? It was a crit. All right. The Dunsparce is dead. I think you just bulldoze again and sack. Yeah, but I, I don't want to sack your Gyarados yeah, is my thing. I think we have to get rid of Manticobra. Unfortunate. I could go steal Terra Yawn and swap into Skeledurge. Oh, you're faster. I'm faster and I didn't die. Oh, we hit one more, probably. All right, just need one more. Oh, two in a row. We got it, GG. We're nice. out. But we're somehow not out of the woods yet, as Larry's fight was followed immediately by another Nimona battle. I was very careful to make sure I saved Vaporeon in the Larry fight, because I knew it crushes nearly everything on her team. I found myself in a bit of a scary situation at the end, not because I was fearful of wiping, no, god no, but because I had to do the slightest amount of mental math to escape the clutches of Nimona. But... <laughs> Um, after evolving my cup chew, before we could even start heading towards the next gym, um, my game had other plans. Uh, my, my switch, wait, um, um, wait, wait one second. <laughs> my game just crashed. Let's hope it saved. Uh, I'm gonna assume it didn't. I think I have to do it all over again. Yeah, while well, you do that, I'm gonna redo all of this. What's the evil just crash your fucking game again? Don't evolve cubs you when you're playing online worst thing i've ever done i want to learn ice of crash okay i don't think i got this far last time no way no way no shot there is a glitch in the game that you cannot evolve cubs you i'm convinced i'm gonna try something new here i'm gonna do both fights again i'm just gonna not learn icicle crash i would just box cubs you bro this is like a situation where i like to apologize for but i i what could i have done different you should just save bro what did you just say i'm backing out backing out backing out saying no saying no now try to evolve it i'm scared that shit's cursed um i have wait why do i have zero raids on my map what what's wrong with this game okay we're gonna try and evolve him just to just to see what happens here all right we put him in the pokedex for the very first time uh would you like to learn icicle crash uh no thanks i can't evolve him 
<laughs> I can't evolve him. Will you evolve him and then just send him back? I hope it doesn't crash. Oh, I don't think I got this far. Huge. Okay, it worked. It worked. I'm saving. What a game, man. Maybe it was that... Wait. It crashed. <laughs> Okay, okay, I have him now. I do have him. Okay. Oh, he's not in my Pokédex. <laughs> Why the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this is just wrong. Wait, why is it? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Bro, your shit is fucked. There's Pokémon. It crashed! He's two different Pokémon now. So I guess as long as I just don't open the Pokédex, we should be fine. You should be okay. It seems like the game is now permanently broken, and I'm just gonna have to play around that one. So let's just pretend that none of this ever happened and catch some new Pokémon on the way from escaping purgatory. <laughs> so after a long series of unfortunate events, it was time to battle Ryan. The other guy's voice sounds devoid of life. Oh yeah, sorry, I'm not projecting my voice. I'm not using my outside voice, sorry. All right, buddy Jacob, are you ready to do the gym trainers? Yeah, 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 we can do that. All right, awesome, let's go. I'm gonna start. Um, I think I'm probably gonna use Vaporeon. I'm gonna use Protect so I can block the Drifblum. And uh, I mean, Skeletor is just broken, so I'd be an idiot not to do that. So I think you just take the Choice Carve to spam Torch Song. Sounds like an awesome plan, yeah. I think I got something cool too on my team. All right. Fair enough. Normally I'd be a little worried about bringing a ghost type Pokemon into a ghost type gym, but the ability to terrestrialize and abuse moves like Torch Song made this decision a no brainer. Every single time you use this move, it boosts your special attack by one, and I spammed it a lot. So when I attempted to take down her ace with a boosted Torch Song, uh, um, <laughs> uh, something went wrong. I assumed I was faster, but I didn't want to like, that has to be like a plus four Torch Song and it didn't kill. Genuinely, how did that not kill? Oh my god, he paralyzed his own Houndstone. Nice. Oh, I got paralyzed too. Damn, you're kind of fucking in trouble. Yeah, if this Torch Song doesn't hit, I'm swapping out. Oh, Hex. Oh, I did not think about that. Mm -hmm. Don't let me lose my starter here. I think you're dead, bro. I didn't think about... Okay, that's a lose condition for the Elite Four now. As the old saying goes, if your starter isn't safe, nobody is. As we all know, Toxtricity's signature ability is Punk Rock which boosts sound-based moves. But what I didn't know, and not even Mr. Pokemon Nuzlocke over there knew, was that this ability also resists sound-based moves. <laughs> yeah, you know, moves like, I don't know, a uh, Torch Song? Well, uh, I'll probably lose sleep over that one, but at least Yon can start using his Terrifier Zora, just in time for Tula. For the first time all run, I am struggling with team building, thanks to that insane set of events that cost me my Skeletor, but hey, no time to worry about the past now. Let's just catch every Pokemon we can and assemble as perfect of a team as we can to rival Tulip. Well, Yon doesn't really have to, I guess. I mean, he has Zoroark now, he's fine. And after some complicated theory crafting, we went in with some rather unconventional picks. Low Kicks will obviously be great here as a bug and dark type, but other than that, I don't really have anything that can damage psychic types. So funny enough, the key to this fight for me is actually gonna be that stupid ass bear that kept crashing my game. Since he's done being a computer virus, I was able to switch him in, take a KO with this badass looking steel Terra Blast, and that was enough to allow Low Kicks to kill with first impression before his Spathra went speed boost stupid. Wait, does she have speed boost? No. Eh, okay. Then Lokix proved why it's an insanely slept on Pokemon and finished the battle before I even had time to think about how stupid I was for losing Skeledurge. <clears throat> Ah, uh, okay. With seven badges in hand, it was time to collect our final one from Grusha. We captured some of our last encounters in the run, and Jan was feeling confident with this fire Zangoose he just picked up. Honestly, at this point, he should be thanking me for losing Skeleturge. I mean, <laughs> is it too late to lie and say it was intentional? Show me the Omni Boost. That's all I want to see here. Yeah, this plane is not going nearly as well. I probably should have just done rollout. Okay, I got the Omni Boost now. Oh, <laughs> I gotta stay in. You get a waste of perfectly good Omni Boost? Okay, sick. Yeah, it yep. turns out Ice type Pokemon, they got a big buff this gen, they still fucking suck. <laughs> what the I think the biggest buff of Ice type Pokemon is that they no longer have to be Ice type Pokemon. Yeah, true. No, unironically. <laughs> and now it's time for the most difficult theory crafting portion of the run the calm before the storm preparing for the Elite Four. After entering, we will not be able to change either team at all for the final five fights. And given these diverse teams they're throwing at us, it would essentially be impossible to find something that could cover everything for both players. So before we search for our final encounters, John and I had to grind up our team in a Chansey-themed genocide. Oh wait, I just found a shiny Chansey. Oh shit. 
Hell yeah. How does the shiny claws work in this? I guess you have to find a shiny to pair it. True. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Catch it, and next shiny I find is paired with it. Uh, do I have a, I have one quick ball. I'm gonna try the quick ball. Oh, it just disappeared. Hey, are you gonna farm chances? Mm -hmm. You wanna try and make a sandwich together? Let's do it. Hold on. All right, let's make a ham sandwich together. Oh, what if our hands touched? On the pickles and Pokemon. Oh, no. oh whoops! Sorry, were you oh, going for no. those pickles? Oh, sorry, I was. I didn't even know. Oh, sh oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, oops. Oh, uh, I'll put a piece of ham over oh, here. We're making like a combined sandwich of the two. Oh, we got so much ham, so much meat between these two boys. That's crazy. Yeah. Would you mind if I put my pickle near yours? Oh no, absolutely not. Go for it. For sure, it's completely fine. Now time for the bread. Beautiful. Okay, are we even going to get the correct boost from this? So, eventually we found our final encounters and tried our best to build the absolute strongest combined team possible. And then entered the Elite Four. When it came to Yon's first battle against Rika, he forgot about camera up using Yon, but then got extremely lucky with Sleep Powder and both Pokemon with a new city. Thrilling. So he just let his Lilligan sweep everything as Yon got completely carried by a combination of Quiver Dance and Giga Drain. So when it was my turn to put on the shades, Toadscrool did too. I swept with a similar strategy to Yon as mashing Giga Drain on Rika's helpless ground types usually warrants a win, but I made a huge play with Protect and a healing with Leftovers that Yon initially deemed a waste of time, but little did he know that I healed exactly enough to survive a huge earthquake from Rika's ace, so... <laughs> Who knows how to play around the crit range now, huh? Then before I even realized I was done with the battle, Yon was already challenging Poppy and stormed through her with an unusual poison type Hariyama. There's really nothing for me to comment on this fight since it was pulled off so surgically, but Poppy was terrifying for me. The first part, however, was easy. Terra Steel Baratic for the resistance and use superpower to take out Kafaraha in one hit. Then Lokix continued to pull his tiny little weight by two hit KOing the alleged tank of Bronzong. But it was Poppy's Corviknight that always looked like a problem to me. So now it's time to pivot like the true Nuzlocke King I am. Okay, so now Corviknight comes in. And now we want to go back to... Uh, yep, gotcha, gotcha. You got it. Because here, it definitely Brave Bird's me. He's starting to believe, chat. Look at him go. The pivots. He sees the Matrix. I got the camera up in front of the Corviknight and fell the Steel Feather Demon. Both of the ground immunities are gone, which means Toadscrool can finally ball. Two down, three to go, and Larry's team is imminently scary. Luckily, Yon had a plan to tear through his entire team with just one Venomoth. This thing had Quiver Dance, tons of potential offense, and some Black Sludge to heal. But then, Yon's Quiver Dances came to an abrupt halt by him forgetting that terrestrializing a Poison type into a non-Poison type makes Black Sludge hurt you rather than heal you. All of a sudden, the greatest Pokemon Nuzlocker in the world is at risk of wiping to Larry's Flamigo. And then Yon almost used Quiver Dance against Oricorio, whose ability would allow them to also use Quiver Dance. Holy shit, I did not know that. It's just a passive ability. It's honestly a little insane. Okay, that's fucking crazy. Uh, okay, we're fucked then. <laughs> I knew one of us was going to be doing the heavy lifting in this run, but if I can be honest, I did not expect it to be me. So given this rough situation, Yon had to sacrifice his Greedon, thus killing my heroic Toadstool, and got a chance for his Zangoose to miraculously win a speed tie. But even that wasn't enough, and now another pair of Pokemon met an unfortunate fate. This whole time, we knew that that cursed Venomoth was one black sludge turned away from dying, but Yon remembered. If he got the KO first, the black sludge turn wouldn't happen. So realizing that his Zangoose died for an entirely unnecessary death, Venomoth finished the fight and saved both of our runs. Thankfully, when it was my turn to fight Larry, I already knew of two Pokemon that could be sacrificed, and had tons of well-thought-out switches, attacks, and strategy to clean up this fight shockingly smooth. But before we fought the final Elite Four member, Yon removed Black Sludge off Venomoth and attempted to Quiver Dance yet again before removing Hassel's entire team from existence. Then, when my team was up to challenge him, we did the exact same thing. Use normal Terra to tank a hit, and then just utilize the Dragon Dance spamming Dragapult. And then, we were nearly done. So with two runs worth of blood on our hands, it was time to challenge the champion with only four Pokemon left each. So, uh, you could say, maybe it's about time for Yon to start pulling his weight. <laughs> oh, 
and boy did he. Gita's lead as Spathro was designed to stop setup sweepers like Lilligant, thanks to the opportunist ability that mimics stat buffs. But Jan taught his Lilligant a little known move called Entrainment, overriding his Spathro's opportunist with Lilligant's useless chlorophyll ability, which then allowed him to quiver dance till his heart's content, right before pressing the same button again and again and again and again. And yep, that was it. That was the champion fight. That's somehow what Jan's entire journey came down to, but now it's my turn. Jan's run may be over, but it is not a successful run until I cross the finish line too. Kill. Perfect. Love to nice, see it. Nice, nice, nice. This is where a coward would use low kick. But this I agree. is where we use axe kick. And it hits. I was scared for nothing. I'm just saying if I didn't put on the cat ears, I don't know if that would have happened. Ooh, and now they're sending out Go-Go. They're going in a very unfortunate order here. Yeah, it sees the play rough, but uh, let's just see what this leech life does. Oh, it just it, kills. It just does not see how rough that play is. Yeah, and we're going to see how leech this life can get. Oh, this thing's fast. Really? 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 Oh my god, the low kick's sweet. I can let low kicks die. All right, I missed and crashed and died. Who's going to go Dragapult? Yeah, I knew it was bad. I just didn't realize it was that bad. Yeah. Wait, I just realized Dragon Darts probably put down like two toxic spikes, right? Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, I just have to hit Surf with Vaporeon once and we're good. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> Don't die now. And would you look at that? Yeah. I, I don't know what could have possibly happened, but that's a yeah. GG's. We did it. And just like that, we completed a hardcore Nuzlocke Soul Link while I played some of the best Pokemon of my entire life. And now, I know what you might be asking. Have I finally earned your respect? 